guys so welcome back to my channel so um this video is just gonna be uh my spring and summer morning routine so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy and give this video a big thumbs up for more routines and yeah sorry you guys see i just wake up and i start making my bed for the day and of course yes i'm wearing my favorite pajama short shirt not short um but basically yeah i really don't do mornings like i literally ugh. and i kiss my beautiful cat uh ziggy you guys know he is my pride and joy and absolutely love him but yeah um also if you guys could give this video a big thumbs up too if you guys want to see some more routines because this is my first one and yeah i'm super excited for it um so yeah now i'm just going to be brushing up my teeth of course because i'm not gonna lie i do forget to brush my teeth uh right before i go to bed so it's just easier to, for me to brush my teeth in the morning and yeah so that way i wake up with some nice refreshed breath and yeah look at that smile though <laughs> All right, so by now I realized that, oh my god, like I need coffee. So yeah, now I'm just going back to my room and grabbing my Starbucks mug that you guys will see here. I literally use this mug all the time and don't mind my dirty floor. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just going down to our kitchen to get some coffee. And yes, I love French vanilla. French vanilla is amazing. So I do about like two scoops of sugar, which is equivalent to like maybe like two or three packets of sugar. Um, and then I just do um, like, I don't know like how much creamer, but I literally love my coffee like white, like almost like cappuccino. So that's just how I like my coffee and yeah and then i just like realized that um <laughs> you guys will see in like two seconds like i'm just i'm not awake like at all and i'm like ugh, like i literally hate mornings so if you guys hate mornings you know i'm totally with you on that one so yeah uh right about this time um usually like my cat he literally waits by my door for me and it's just the funniest thing um, I swear, he's literally like a dog. But yeah, now I'm just gonna start getting ready for the day, and I actually had to get ready for work. So, yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably brush my hair soon, and I always make funny faces at myself, like in the mirror, because, um, I don't know. I don't really know why I do that, but I honestly feel like it just, like, helps my day. So, um, I'm going to start off by uh, moisturizing my skin and doing all of that. So, I'm just going, like, my skincare lately has been, like, pretty lazy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so usually in the morning, I'll just take a makeup remover wipe. I've been using these Aloe Ones Elite Aloe Wipes that I got from Burlington Coat Factory. And they literally probably have helped my skin so much. Um, I really do have acne prone skin. But, um, aloe really does help your skin, so. Alright, so next, um, I got this serum from Sephora. Um, this is the Ole Henner Skin, a uh, Truth Serum. It's a collagen boosted with True C Complex, um, and yeah, no, this stuff, it really does, like, brighten your skin. It's really, really good, and it smells like oranges, so. I pretty much just rub this serum into my skin and you guys will see here that it literally does like brighten my skin it helps even it out and get rid of the redness and next I'm going to go in with my day logic hydrating water gel uh, this is an oil free um, like I said it, it's like a hydrating gel instead of a lotion and yeah um, this is supposed to be compared to the Neutrogena one and honestly absolutely love it i've been using it every day so next i'm going to go in with my primer i'm using my Too faced prime and poreless primer and i literally use this like every day and i probably should go and buy a new one because i use it like every day um and yeah i'm just going to apply this in my pores focusing it 
uh, more rather like in my T zone. And yeah, I'm just gonna rub that in with my hands. And for foundation, I do believe I decided to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. Uh, this is for normal to combination skin. So if you have combination skin like I do, this foundation does wonders. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender. This is my Studio 35B, I think that's what it's called. Uh, beauty sponge and honestly this sponge is so soft um, and it do has like charcoal extract in it, but I'm pretty sure it just washes away after like the first wash um, but it is so soft and I honestly feel like this is probably a dupe for the beauty blender as well and it's honestly pretty cheap I think I got it for like three or four dollars at Walmart so next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape I honestly love this concealer um, and I'm just going to apply this underneath my under eye area just to brighten it up and get rid of my dark circles that I clearly have. Alright, and then next I'm going to go in with my Benefit High Beam. I've been doing this a lot lately and I feel like it honestly um, helps my highlight. Um, cause I feel like throughout the day my highlight just starts to fade and with, um, the high beam it's mixed in with the foundation so it's more likely to stay once my highlighter wears off. And next I'm gonna go in with my favorite setting powder. This is the Cody Airspun powder and I have it in the shade, I think it's like extra coverage but it's like translucent and oh my gosh guys this powder is absolutely amazing and honestly I feel like this is what gives me like that perfect poreless like skin like condition and I absolutely love it and of course I apply it with my damp beauty blender and it just looks absolutely amazing all right so next I'm going to do my brows I'm going to go with my Anastasia brow whiz in the shade soft brown and this is what I've been using to do my brows lately I did pick up a couple of these pencils uh, during their the Ulta 21 days of beauty when these were on sale for like 10 bucks but they only allowed me to buy like two which I can totally understand but yeah so I only paid like 10 bucks for two of them all right so yeah this is what I've been using for my brows and I've been like trying to like mess around with like different lighting I'm just trying to find my place in this world And I know it's not so right to feel this way I'll let it grow But if you stay here, if you go I'm right there with you But you know that I'm looking for more than a pretty smile And if I'm lucky, you can stay for a while But if you stay or if you go I'm just hanging on again all right, so next I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is just going to fill up my brows just a little bit more, and also make sure that my brows stay in place all day. Right, and next I am um, going to be going in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up my face, and I'm also going to slightly contour it like I always do. Usually I'll go like, um, either the hula bronzer or I'll use my cap on the shade and light palette. And then next for blush, I decided to go in with my... Benefit California blush. This one's new and it actually smells like a mix of like vanilla and raspberries um, It's really really pretty and I love like corally peachy shades So yeah, I love this blush um, And next I am um, Going to go in I think I used my Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade kitten this highlighter is absolutely like pretty cool um, it definitely, like, doesn't even look like a highlighter, like, on your face. Like, it just makes your skin look dewy, and yeah, it's just really, really cool. So next I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. And in my crease, I just went in... <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, in my crease, I just went in with the shade Limit. And I'm just blending that in my crease for a transition shade. All right, and then next, just to deepen it up, I went in with the shade Nooner. All right, and then all over my lid, I'm going in with the shade Buzz, and I'm just packing that on to my eyelid. This glitter, or the shade does have a lot of glitter in it, so there is a little bit of fallout, but it's okay. The shade is still pretty. All right, so next um, on my lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with the shade Limit and just apply it on my lower lash line, so that way the eye look looks tied all together. And then to highlight the inner corner, I went in with the shade Dust, and I just applied it to the inner corner. All right, and I think I went in with the shade um, Mug Shot in my outer corner. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to go in with the shade Strange. All right, and that is pretty much it for the funnel look. Um, for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, as you guys know, probably in my products, I regret buying a video. Um, I did not like my NYX. Uh, where are you? Um, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Um, this product literally bled on my eyelids and I absolutely hated it. So I went and bought this one, figuring it was um, a probable dupe to the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner and yeah I absolutely um, love this liner and I feel like it's definitely more of a dupe than the NYX um, eyeliner so yeah you guys know I'm just winging my liner even though you can't even see it um, but yeah I'm just doing a winging liner like always And if I sound a little bit sick, I, can't, I think I'm getting like a cold or something, or maybe it's just my allergies. But, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really going for like a rosy gold look today, but I figured why not, since it is spring and pinks are kind of in. Um, if you guys would like to see a nighttime routine, give this video a big thumbs up. Alright, and then for mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Um, this mascara, it's like, it's okay. I mean, it's definitely not a mascara that you should, like, die over. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's okay for, like, an everyday kind of look. Um, definitely my favorite mascaras are the, um, Too Faced Better Than Sex, the... A cosmetic superhero mascara and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Those are like my top three favorite mascaras. Um, from the drugstore, I definitely like um, the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational. And, um, and the L'Oreal Voluminous. And then on my lower lashes, I'm going in with my Lancome Definisils mascara for my lower lashes. This mascara does absolute wonders for my lower lashes and I actually really, really like it. Um, I happen to get it in a Sephora, um, Sephora favorites, like blushed favorites or something like that. Alright, and yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the look. I'm just going to wipe off the foundation. I have on my mouth and um, 
I do believe I went in with a lip gloss. Um, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Butterscotch, which is very like nude. It's like a peachy nude color because it's definitely not like nude nude. So I would definitely say it's like a peachy color. Um, the only thing that I hate about this lip gloss is that it doesn't really have a scent, but I mean, I guess that's kind of good, especially if you're, like, sensitive to smells. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the color, and it's really pretty. So this is the actual look, and I did this in front of, like, natural lighting so you guys could actually see it. And yeah, so usually after I get ready, I play with my cat, usually before I go to work, and he's just literally like a big ham. And he loves his elephant. <laughs> and then he's like, after a while, he's like, nope. <laughs> Alright, and then um, I decided to go in with my Tahiti Island Dream from Bath & Body Works. I literally have um, that whole collection that you guys see on my dresser. It's literally all of like my spring and summer Um collection and yeah so thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye